this little lesson is all about Newton's second law of motion. As it appears in a textbook, it looks sort of like this. A force acting on a mass will cause the mass to accelerate in the direction of the force. The acceleration being proportional to the force and inversely proportional to the mass. Within this paragraph are three very important precepts. And a precept is sort of like an idea or a concept. The three precepts are these. Number one, a force acting upon a mass will cause the mass to accelerate in the direction of the force. And number two, the acceleration being proportional to the force. And number three, the acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass. Those are the three precepts that you should understand. And I might also point out before we get into this, that this is the law, Newton's second law, that gives us this equation, force equals mass times acceleration. This is the law that deals with force, mass, and acceleration, the relationship between those three. The three precepts of Newton's second law of motion. Here's the first precept. A force acting on a mass will cause the mass to accelerate in the direction of the force. So if we apply a force, to a mass, like this little red wagon, it's obviously going to create an acceleration in the same direction as the force. Here's why this is important. If you're ever working on a problem where you have to identify the direction of the force, then all you have to do is look for the direction of the acceleration. If a car is accelerating to the right, then the force is to the right. If a rocket is accelerating upward, then the force is upward. On the other hand, if you want to know the direction of the acceleration, all you have to do is find the direction of the force. It'll tell you the direction of the acceleration. So it's important to understand this. Now the second precept says the acceleration is proportional to the force. So if we start out with a mass and we see that it's accelerating, we know there's a force being applied to it. That force is going to create an acceleration that is proportional to itself. The acceleration is proportional to the force. You understand that a little better if you look at a couple of different pictures. Here you have a big force applied to that same cart. And if you apply a big force to that same cart, you get a bigger acceleration. That just stands to reason. It's pretty logical. And likewise, if you apply a little force to that same cart, you would expect to get a small acceleration and you do. And that is the second precept of Newton's second law. It says that the acceleration is proportional to the force. Big force, big acceleration. Small force, small acceleration. And the third precept simply says that the acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass of the object. So if we look at this acceleration, it's caused by a force. This force creates this acceleration when it's applied to this particular mass. This particular mass is 50 kilograms. So this, what this uh, precept is saying is that if I change the mass of this object and I apply that same force to it, then I should get a different acceleration. So watch what happens. If I change the mass of the cart to 75 kilograms and I apply that same force to it, whatever that force happens to be, then you can look at this and you would expect intuitively that you would get a smaller acceleration and you do. The acceleration is proportional to the force and inversely proportional to the mass. So let's change the mass again. Let's add another 25 kilograms to this. We're going to make this 100 kilograms. If we turn this cart into a 100 kilogram cart and apply that same force to it, we're not changing the force, then we get a smaller acceleration still. The acceleration decreases with an increase in mass, and you would expect it also to increase with a decrease in mass. It's an inverse proportion between mass and acceleration. So let's apply it. 
let me ask you this which car is going to win the race car number one 700 horsepower and a mass of 2,000 kilograms car number two 700 horsepower in other words the same power engine so it's going to produce the same force but a mass is 2,500 kilograms and here we have car three 700 horsepower and 3,000 kilograms what do you think is going to happen which car is going to win the race and if you said number one you were right because according to the third precept of Newton's second law of motion it will have the greatest acceleration because it has the least mass that's that inverse relationship car number one will win the drag race why because according to the third precept of Newton's second law of motion he will have the greatest acceleration because it has the least mass and that is Newton's second law of motion in a nutshell have a comment leave it below I'll be more than happy to answer any question that you have until next time until next lesson take care